Welcome back, artists. Today we are ready to glaze our clay vessel. Woohoo! Now, at this point, you have gotten your clay back and it has gone through a chemical change in the kiln. Now it is hard, kind of like a brick or like a rock. We are going to be covering our clay in glaze, which is like a special paint just for clay. What glaze is, is it's a whole bunch of tiny little glass pieces um, that when we heat them up in the kiln are gonna get glassy and it's gonna make your project look like it's shiny like glass. We're going to be using a clear glaze on ours, but glaze comes in a whole bunch of colors. Think back all the way to when you were in kindergarten, you might remember using red glaze on your pinch pot hearts. Now as we glaze today, it's going to be really important that we glaze everything. We cover the whole thing up except the bottom where your name is. That includes outside, inside, and in all of our cracks. Now if I paint on the bottom though, what will happen is when the glaze melts in the kiln and becomes shiny and glassy, it'll act like glue and it could get stuck in the kiln and we don't want that. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in here and I'm gonna start painting anywhere that I can see the red clay. I want a nice thick layer on here. And yes, that clay shows through a little bit, but I should be able to tell where I have painted before and where I have not. Now, right now, this glaze looks like it's a bluish color, or maybe you're, you're painting with a glaze that looks like it's a little bit pink. It's actually going to be clear, so it's just gonna make this look shiny, but there's not any color to it. This red clay is just so beautiful that we don't really need to cover it up with any color. We want that really to stand out. So I'm working really hard to make sure I'm getting my brush in any of the cracks. You might have gaps and things in yours. So you wanna make sure you get that brush in there too. All right, so I've completed painting the outside of my clay piece. I've worked really hard to make sure I got my brush in all of the cracks um, and all of my layers. I don't wanna see any of that red clay showing through. You can tell the difference between this where I've painted before and here where I haven't painted yet. Now, I was lifting mine up so you could see what I was doing. I would really recommend you keeping it down on the table. That way you don't accidentally get glazed all the way on the bottom, because remember we talked about how that's not good. It could get stuck to the kiln. Once I've done my layer on the outside, I've turned and turned and turned and made sure I don't see any red clay out here on the outside. I also want to paint the inside of my coil pot as well. That includes all the way down at the bottom, that pancake and all of my details. <laughs> 